Hello and welcome to this online tutorial brought to you by the Mid-Ohio Educational Service Center Print Shop. And in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at Adobe InDesign and how to take the fonts that are in our document and convert those to outlines for print production. Oftentimes here at Mid-Ohio, I get asked why it is important to convert the text to outlines before submitting the file for printing. And oftentimes when we are creating files, we are using fonts that are unique only to our system and we want to ensure that no matter who opens up our documents, everything appears exactly as we have intended. So for example, if I come up here to this text box and double click in it, you'll notice that when I highlight the text, it still has a font attribute associated with it. Before submitting this for printing, I want to ensure that I convert this text or this font to an outline so that way it is no longer looked at as a font but rather as an image or a shape that will display correctly no matter who opens up the file. So in order to do that in Adobe InDesign, we're going to go ahead and click on the text box. I'm going to go up here and select Type, and in the drop-down menu, select Create Outlines. And what that is going to do is it's going to remove the font attribute associated with this text box and make it a series of paths or outlines that are forming this image. So for example, when I select on the Direct Selection tool, you'll now notice it is a series of paths that is forming this font outline and this will display correctly no matter who opens up the file on their computer. I do want to mention however that after you convert all your text to outlines that you do a file save as and do not overwrite your current file as once you remove the font attribute the text is no longer editable and if you have to go back and make further changes to your document you want to ensure that you have a backup file saved so that you can do that. I thank you for your time and please look for our next video which will cover using the align tool in Adobe InDesign.